we will take a vote of no confidence on the Prime Minister of Belize and his government. Uh, whether it is outlining the malfeasance, the nonfeasance of the Prime Minister in regards to the Portico Definitive Agreement, as has been listed out there, his cousin uh, being the attorney for Portico Enterprises Limited, his Minister of State in the Ministry of Finance, and his Minister of Immigration uh, have a law firm called Coe and Courtney, or Courtney and Coe, and they represent the CEO of Portico in his personal interests. And all of the allegations of nepotism, cronyism, self-enrichment that have engulfed the Brasenio administration in relations to Portico, the Special Senate Select Committee to investigate the genesis of the Portico Agreement all the way to the Confidential Cabinet Memorandum 84 being submitted by the Prime Minister, who is the Minister of Finance. And as he has said, I quote, the box stops with him, you can't blame Christopher Coe. Um, and that is where we started with that saga and the evidence unfolded that the prime minister lied he said that when he was asked about legal advice he and the minister said they were seeking legal advice but as we now know they had already gotten at least the prime minister had gotten legal advice from ben jarotowicz uh, king's council before the definitive agreement with the respective legislation to be passed uh, was submitted to the cabinet. So we now know that it's a, it is a lie that the Prime Minister um, did not know anything and just submitted the definitive agreement to say, hey, you know, look at this, guys, what do you think? We now know that there were two definitive agreement legal opinions sought and received before the cabinet memorandum 84 was submitted for approval urgent recommendations so that it could be passed in the house of representatives